Is it possible to solve a 21 by 21 without doing a single turn? Today, we are competing at the biggest Rubik's Cube competition of the year and asking different people if they can help us solve the 21 by 21 before the four day competition ends. All right, day two of giving people the 21 by 21. Oh my God. Center. I got people to solve the white center without me touching it. I'll labor. You're using it. No, no, I, I agreed to this. All right, I'm gonna go compete. So I'll come back with you. Don't pop the cube, be good. Okay. And yeah, I trust you with this, okay? Okay. And then, this happened. Well, we have oh, one God. more bar and a broken piece, so. Oh, we broke yeah. a piece? Oh, broke is a strong word. Don't worry, we ended up fixing it. Yeah, Jesse said he'll get you a replacement part for free because he's the best. Really? My goal is to solve this oh, yeah? by the end of the competition. Just by having people do it for you? Yes. Oh, sure. Yeah, I can work on it. I'll do a couple. Status update. This wasn't just me, but yeah, it's been kind of been passed around. Thank you, thank you guys. <laughs> Dang, how, how many is that? Like, Uno, I can't tell. Two minutes until we do clock. The event I came here for. Hopefully, I don't screw this up. So here, I'm feeling very great during my warm up, getting a lot of five second solves, which is really great for me. So the goal is to get one today and make finals. This, let's freaking go on clock. All right, we hopefully we can get this sub. Six, maybe? I don't know. Just do good. That was horrible. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Dang it. It's not looking good for us right now. We all got three salts left. Gotta get a six seconds on the next three salts. Ready? Seven. Come on. Oh, you scared this time. You scared me, man. You really scared me. You're like, oh, I get a DNF. <laughs> the six. I think let me let's do the math and see how much we get. Let's come over here. We got a, a seven second solve, a DNF, a seven, a five, and a six. National record holder yeah, yeah. for clock. Tells me I'm close, so Yeah, you're gonna be close to making final. Oh man. Hope hopefully it's it's good. We're gonna make it. Alright, let's check our results so far on clock. Currently ranked number eight. A few more people to go left. We're in a good spot. We need to get at least top 20 to make it to finals. And we're at 8 right now. How'd you do, Bishwal? It was, it was bad, but I, I, I got, still got into finals. Most you got into finals. Yeah. I think, me too, me too. I was safe thing because I DNF'd. Oh, I like DNF'd. Like myself, so Dang. I was able to not get a DNF average. Yeah, I DNF'd too. Noah Swore, third in the world for blind. Cheering me up. He's like, he's my calming my nerves. Here we go for finals. The biggest five solves of my whole life. Results for clock is posted. Let's see if we made finals. Let's see, let's see. Oh, we're on the 16th, we made finals. We made finals. Yahoo! My first time ever in a finals. Status update is we've got all this, uh -huh. this, and then we're working on another bar up here, um, but I can't find the pieces. Dang, that's the tricky part with the that's, that's the tricky part, but watch this. It's an, it's an art <laughs> It's just oh, like line. Oh, we got, got it. a line. Oh, now let's <laughs> get it in. Let's see. Let's do it. How long did that line take? Um, just about zero seconds, actually. It zero was very seconds. fast. Yeah. And how are you doing so far? My name is Dan, and I'm a couple of pieces away from a third bar. Oh my! I need three more pieces. We're gonna get this done. I think we can. You leave it with me for like a few hours, and you'll have like some centers done. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Hey, you got three. Thank you to Dan. So we have this paper with the schedule of all the times that we're supposed to compete in, like finals. So thinking I competed at 5.45, I did not get the chance to warm up. But it turns out I competed at 5.15. So I had to go in the round of finals without any warm up. This is how it went.
lucky enough to solve the means who didn't count. And then we finished day one off with basketball. Wait in. Then it is day two, where we started off trying to build this group effort picture with hundreds of Rubik's Cubes. This is a group effort to build this Toronto Raptors. Somebody messed up. The struggle is real getting the piece in. Oh, it's so tight. I'm gonna go buy some merch. Marketing. Free marketing, yeah. Thank you. If I didn't change my number, Hey. Then we had this opportunity to do this challenge to win a free cube. Race me in a 3x3. Three three. Okay, okay. Can I have an island cubing logo? Yes, yes actually. Sir. I'm gonna put it on my bulk. Cube. No, 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 don't put that on your bulk. Put this on your bulk. Oh, soup TV logo? Yeah, put this on there. <laughs> this is heaven. <laughs> I'm trying something really interesting on this bulk. You, who's going first? It doesn't matter. They will get mad at you. Why am I doing this to myself? So we win a prize. Okay, you know what? Oh my goodness, we want an 8x8. Let's oh go! <laughs> no! We needed an 8x8 too. Which I use a very interesting method to speed off called Hoya. Thinking that nobody recognizes it, I had it judged it. You use Hoya? Yeah. Me too. Me too. I, I, really? Yeah. Can you teach me some Hoya? You like, you rarely, I rarely know anyone that uses Hoya. I don't care to speed solve a 4x4, so I don't bother to try to get fast at it. But here are my results. My fastest time in competition is 48 seconds, and we did not get that here. Then when I got back from 4x4, my 21x21 almost popped. So we had to push the pieces back in before it exploded. Okay, I got one over. Oh, let's go. Hey, let's go. There we go. Hey. I'm really scared I just broke something. It's okay, man. It's already you broke. break the page. This puzzle's getting hard. <laughs> <getting on. laughs> How much does this puzzle cost? Fifteen hundred dollars. I'm not touching this damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are trying to find this missing piece. Could it be this one? This is it. Nice to done. Hey, hey, you got man. the top. Solved. Good job. <laughs> now it is five of five, competing in a puzzle that I have not touched for a month until this moment here. This is how bad I did. To qualify for this event for North American Championships, you needed an, an official 1 minute 45 second average, which I got from previous competitions. But I got a minute and 51 second average, which puts me nearly in last place of the whole competition. After that horrible performance, I went and watched my friend Tommy, who was the fastest 3x3 blindfold solver in the world. He did great. And then checked up on the progress of the 21x21. 21 21. Last piece for yellow. And we finished the whole yellow center. Thank you. Hey, good job. And we ended our day with boba tea. Now it is day three. We're doing two by two first thing in the morning. The goal was to get a three second solve. But same situation as four by four and five by five. I did not practice before this competition. So our best time was five seconds. Now it is time to compete in something we actually practice for. Three by three round one. The goal is to get a nine second average and to advance to the second round. To advance to the second round, you needed to be in the top 200 of the 500 people competing. I had little pauses in my solves due to some nerves, and I knew it would be extremely close to a 9 second average. And I was right. We ended with a 10.03 second average. We were 0 0.04 seconds off from a 9 second average. But that's okay because we have another chance on day 4 because we made it to the second round. For Pyramix, I wanted to try something new. I wanted to bring my 21x21 cube as a warm up cube. I want to bring this to Pyramix. This man is warming up for Pyramix using a 21 by 21. My best time in competition for Pyramix is an 8 second solve flat. So let's see if this warm up cube will help. The warm up did not work. No way I just messed up twice. My warm up cube. What is that? My warm up cube. How big is that? 21, 21. Wow. Can I take a picture of that? Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, we... 
I did not record much for day 3 because I was hanging out with friends most of the day. But I ended the day with watching Rubik's Cube Cup, which is teams competing with each other, which is really hype to watch. Oh. Oh. This is the final day of a four day competition. So this is when the fastest people are gonna compete with each other and we're gonna see who's gonna be crowned the North American Championships. So now we're about to go do a Twitch stream we're gonna, we're for gonna... our first round of 5x5. Five five. Yeah, Keep in. How you doing stream, or vlog, whatever. <laughs> You got Daniel Karnoff you know, who's in the middle of us. Yeah. Uh -huh. So kettle corn, I think, is superior than than pop corn. Sure. What do you think? So we just finished a live stream of commentating for five by five. What's up, Jack? Hey. This is the former blind hold world record holder and former national record holder as of last night. Oh, he got his record broken yesterday by a 13 year old kid. Yeah. Uh, this guy called Tomoe Furman had like a 1923 uh -huh. at a competition. It would have been his first ever um, oceanic record. But then I broke with a 1920 like literally three minutes later. <laughs> he broke his, he took his record in three minutes. Yeah, it's wow. really funny. We have 20 minutes before the second round of 3x3 three three starts. The goal is to get an under 10 second average. Let's see if we can do it. I did some warm up stops and I was very inactive with my turning for some reason today. But we had to go up and start competing. Not a great start. We got really lucky on that song, like very lucky. Finally, Nate. It's looking good so far. Let's not choke on the last two solves. One last solve. Let's see if we get under 10. We, we choked on the last two solves. That's the worst way to end it. So maybe next year. Maybe next year. <laughs> Done competing. I'm out of this competition. After finishing all the events I competed in and being eliminated, I went and watched my friends compete in finals. Like Tommy who won first in 3x3 blindfolding. He won who came so close of being in the podiums and made it in 4th place. You got it next year bud. And watching Maddie being crowned the 3x3 North American champion. Congratulations. After that, there was one last thing we had to do. Solve this 21x21. We asked Maddie to finally finish off the puzzle for us after four days of countless of hours of so many people helping with this puzzle. Not a single turn, mate. I done. It's so happy to see everyone come together for this very moment. Oh. 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 Yeah. yeah. Thank you, everyone.